Penny Raid and Rio. Of course, some, uh, got some people in the chat definitely want to see their boy Rio doing well in bracket. That's for you, Gangsta Panda. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so this is winner's finals, Gangsta Panda. So you're going to see how your boy does against Panty Raid, who has been doing work here in Gainesville recently. Here we go. Smash go. Bayonetta versus Corn. Rio not going really any much, much of anyone else except for Corn uh, today. Oh, that is not good. There we go. Panty Raid, of course, always making his opponents work for it. At any point in time, Panty Raid, uh, being such a clever player himself, uh, can change the tide in a match. Look at him just jump right over the, uh, the Dragon Spear there. And using that Witch Twist to get you away from the ledge, you can't really put too much pressure on him. Using Bayonetta, using the Bats Within. So move around, skid around the stage, not take any knockback. Really good player, especially with Bayonetta. We got Rio in the lead, not really phased, but oh no, he gets which time? Oh, Panty Ray doing a beautiful job with the Witch Twist cancel, getting that third jump, taking that stock off the top. Again, that's the th those things that people dislike about Bayonetta, but I love it, man. It's competitive edge. You really have to be careful when you're playing against a character. Rio been in, has been in this situation before. It's good practice for him to play against really good Bayonetta as well. We'll see how he kind of makes the turn, the return, of, the return act, I should say, to uh, to victory. But it's gonna be tough. And we're getting another grab, pushing Rio in the air. There's a second one, pushing up throw. The third. He's really just putting a hurting on. He's like, no, I, I really want you. I'd rather you grab me with Bayonetta than hit me with anything else. Rio approaching the shield of life. Finally, does get a grab of his own. Beautiful stuff to force Rio to air dodge. He's able to get a couple extra hits there too. Oh, but he just runs right into that force smash from Rio. So here he comes. One stock a piece. Rio at 74, 75 now. Oh, he's adding more and more damage at any rate. Anyway, not phased, does run run off. Get that boost kick. Again, it doesn't matter how much damage you put on the opponent if you can't finish the kill. Charge force smash again off stage. Is he gonna die? No, not quite. Oh, Panty Red had the right idea with the witch time, but not, not quite close enough. Here comes Rio. Oh, it looked like an input flip there. Oh, and nearly dying to a down air. I really like what the way Panty Red's trying to play against Rio. Really taking it to him. But it's not over yet. We're actually interestingly going for upward angle ups or force match. Oh, I did. Rio unfortunately getting hit with the back air. So there you go. Panty Ray taking that first game. But uh, Rio didn't make that easy at all. So what do you think, chat? You guys, are we going to see an adjustment? Are we going to see Rio switch over to Ike? Or is Rio thinking, ah, you know, that was a little bit of a fluke. I'll switch the colors up a little bit. Go back into game two with corn, and that's exactly what he did. Three, two, one, go! And remember guys, here in winner's finals, it's the best three out of five set. So of course, uh, Rio is gonna try to like, wing it as hard as he can with the character if he feels like he didn't really go for the options that he really should have. Hey, what's up, BT? And here we go. Um, Again, still anyone's game. And again, Rio does have the option to switch characters on game three. So far, the pick's still looking good here in, game, in uh, stock one. Seems to be playing a lot more aggressive than he was game one. Not really playing towards Bayonetta's uh, ranges. Oh, but there's that witch time. Charge force smash, puts him at 69. No, Tuesday's he's still living. He's not really dead. Oh, but another witch is pushing him further and further off stage. Oh, the witch is a little bit late for Benny, right? Oh, smart stuff from there. Uh, Matty Ray using that, um, those machine pistols from uh, Bayonetta's feet by holding the A button. Actually doing the extra damage and pushing it back. And there's another wish time at the ledge. Oh, that Bruce kick waits for him. The air dodge and hits him with the mare? Nuts. Wow, 
Rio actually was put up with so much pressure they just was forced to kind of recover and forcing not enough height there to make it back to the ledge. So again, Penny Raid in the lead, in position to take a to go up in the set 2-0. Rio doesn't make an adjustment here. Again, here's another, another witch switch combo. Shoving Rio completely off stage. There you have it, 2-0. Oh. Sorry, I had to uh, step aside for a second for a uh, quick T.O. question. Yeah, man, those bail ladder combos are definitely a doozy. You really have to be careful. Here we go again. Game three, what I tell you, man? He was like, okay, I'm going to try this out with Corrin. It looked good game one, or in stock one. But again, Penny, Penny Ray just a monster with this character, Bayonetta. Really been playing it his way. And he still, he'll, he'll grab you if you keep shielding. He'll which time you keep hitting him. He'll float around the stage if you uh, are just waiting for him. And you really kind of have to anticipate exactly what uh, Penny Raid is doing to really shift the match in your momentum. And again, look at this. He's racking up the damage. And now he hasn't tried Roy yet, but, uh, you know, he is in winner's bracket. He can definitely come back in losers and kind of tease his way back that way. Again, Penny Raid, again, he's getting so good at playing against Rio. Oh, the dash attack off the side of the ledge. Taking that first stock. Now, Rio's Ike may not even need to use the Roy, uh, depending on how he does with Ike. Ike doesn't really put out as many um, hitboxes as, you know, say, Roy or, or Corrin. So that might put him in a little bit of a favorable position to not get which time is off him. And again, uh, Rio's movement with Ike so good. And he, just, he just doesn't really telegraph a lot of his options. All right, too often. So we'll see. Real actually trying to work around this uh, low percent tango that uh, Penny Raid has him in right now. There's that Witch Swiss. Again, he's done such a good job of wading it out in the air. And Real is just opting the air dodge almost every time now. Penny Raid really capitalizing on that. Oh, well, almost hitting him there. Interesting option there to just side beat right in front of Bayonetta. Oh, and the Witch Swiss combo finishing with the up air. Always gonna do it at that high percent. Here we go. Already oh, a Witch time on the second stop. Oh man. Just racking up the damage. Now Penny rating the damage percent lead. Real at 53%. Oh, finally getting a hit in, but again, he's still in the air. Still in the Witch Swiss combo situation. 76%. Oh, the up, up smash through the platform. Is that going to kill? Wow. 3 0 oh, and a handshake. Penny Ray do, doing such a good job in that matchup. Really making it tough. Already leaving to go uh, let the TO know. Dope stuff from him. Rio did do his thing to try to keep it going, but uh, still, this uh, Penny Ray.